Today, I will be showing you three ways to add contrast in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you haven't seen the video before this, it covers exposure and you want to do that first before you add contrast. Now, with my exposure tab, I just raise the exposure so I can show you what it's like to add contrast. So the first way you can add contrast to your footage is going to the primary color wheels and raising the contrast slider. Now, this adds contrast pretty well. This could be a nice way if you just want to add a little bit more contrast without having to go in to curves and other forms of contrast like that. Now, you also have this here, which is the pivot, which changes where the contrast is being affected. So I can put 1.5 and you can see when I change the contrast, it'll get lighter or darker. So this will be like about the middle of the image. This is where the contrast is even with one being the darkest and with zero being the highlights the highest so usually you want it in the middle somewhere 0.432 is pretty in the middle and then you'll only add a little bit maybe like 1.2 to create a nice contrast curve now that's the first way of doing it now the second way of doing it we can turn that off is with the curves you can grab the color picker press on one of the highlights and press on one of the shadows and you can drag down the shadows yourself and bring up the highlights. Now one reason you might want to do it this way is because maybe you want the shadows in a certain position but you want the highlights to be brighter or maybe it's the opposite maybe you want the shadows to be light and you want to decrease contrast like that or maybe you want to add a midpoint to bring it down or bring it up and you can really fine-tune your adjustments with the curves contrast another way you can add contrast with curves is you can go to editable splines and you can use these, tone it back a little bit until you like it. And this will give you a nice subtle curve. And this just gives you a smoother output. You can see here, it's kind of like a fade off and it gives you a more smooth output. So that is another way you can edit contrast. The last way you can edit contrast, this is a more unique way of adding contrast. It's less of contrast and more of an effect. So what you're gonna do is go to the effects, go to glow, you're gonna drag and drop the glow effect onto this node. Then you're gonna go down to soft light, bring the threshold down, bring the spread down, then put the gain at either 2.5 or 0.3. Somewhere in between there is usually the middle of the image. And then you can use this to blend the contrast. Now, one reason why you might want to do it this way is you can make the blacks even more crunchy. The reason why this is special is you can add spread, which what this does is it kind of makes these highlights and these darks bleed into each other. So it's kind of creating a vignette, but it's like a contrast vignette. Now, if you just want contrast, you drag that all the way down and bam, you get contrast. But let's say you have 0.1, you can kind of see it creates this like fuzzy outline. The higher you go, the more it bleeds into the other image, creating contrast in a really unique way, which draws your eye in more. So that is the glow node. Now that you've learned how to add contrast to your footage, you should learn how to saturate your footage, which luckily I have a video here if you want to click on it and watch it.